going to be a struggle. Um, it's There's going to be some tough, challenging moments. There's going to be moments where we need to stay united as a team. I mm -hmm. think that's the most important thing. Um, being united is is bigger than, than, you know, just one person. So if we can stay united and continue to just, you know, push the whole equal pay, um, I think we're, we're deserving of it. You know, we're America's team mm -hmm. um, on the female side, and, and hopefully we can get that done and, and come to an agreement. Have things changed? You get an indication that they're more willing? Because I think the feeling before is they give it lip service, but they're not really, have, they haven't really shown they're serious about it. We've done this before uh, multiple times, and, and this is sort of how they, they operate. Mm -hmm. We kind of wait till the last minute, and, and we're scrambling. Um, so it doesn't surprise me. Um, plus, we, you know, with a World Cup and an Olympics shortly after that, it's been, it's been hard to, to really open up those discussions mm -hmm. and really get somewhere because we're all focused on, on winning an Olympics. Um, so now everything is, is done and we can get back to the drawing board and get back to you know opening up those those channels of communication and and figuring it out and going for the equal pay you have some pretty high profile people behind you we've had a presidential candidate tweeting about it hillary clinton has said uh commented on it and and has backed the idea that there should be equal pay um do you think that it's it would change if there was a female president it might actually yeah i mean i i think anything is possible we're seeing that right now with you know Hillary in, in the, the running. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I'm not going to say no. I, I think that things may be different, and that would be great to see because I think you know we put just as much effort in as as men do. It is harder for female athletes in a, in a lot of ways. And, and again, you talk about this in the book about the pressure surrounding body image. Um, and when you're approached as a professional athlete to endorse things, you've turned offers down, saying that you don't want to be um, a runway model, you want to be a role model. Yeah, and, and that's not to, to knock you know, anybody that um, feels passionate about that. This is, this is who I want to be remembered as. I don't need to go outside of my house and have fresh makeup on because I'm going to the grocery store. That's just not me. Mm. You know, when you, when you catch me out on the streets or you run into me um, while I'm grabbing some food, I, I pretty much look like I just came off the fields. I'm just a little bit cleaner. Um, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get all these endorsement deals because um, I may, you know, look a certain way. I, I think there's such a stigma on, on females out there and um, we live in a world where, where sex sells and, and I think, you know, having your play sell is, is much better. What do you think the future holds now that you've reached this point in your career? I would like to win another World Cup and be the first team to win back-to-back -back World Cups. And then I would like to be the first team to win a World Cup and an Olympics and then probably leave my cleats on the field and uh, walk off and start the next chapter in my life. But I want to, to definitely leave the sport better than when I came in and mm -hmm. hopefully for the younger generations and little girls out there that they can uh, keep aspiring to be on the U.S. Women's National Team.